Hi there and welcome to my new video series. Um, I'm going to do this slightly differently this time around. Normally I'll have prepared the tutorial and you'll go through step by step and there won't be any problems but I feel that that's not very realistic so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from design up and uh, and then I'll let you see some of the problems that I will probably hit and um, how to solve them and so it kind of gives you an idea of uh, the, the thought processes behind it rather than just uh, watching someone complete something perfectly. Uh, not that I do that very often but we're just going to get started. Um, I'll tell you the, the reason I'm doing this is because if I pop this onto the screen um, I saw a bunch of resources on Kenny. Now Kenny is an amazing website. He's got a bunch of these 3D resources that are all tileable. I've been playing around with the Godot game engine as well and that's kind of how I found them. Um, the reason I say that is because uh, it saw there is no code with these so I thought it would be really cool if we could just grab one of these whole kits and um, make the code for it. So I'm calling the series Code for Kenny and we're going to make the racing game with what we have. Now I did a really simple sort of uh, plan. I've got the, the concept um, here with the, the just a single thing in Trello, a single um, table in Trello and, and I've got so the basic concept art, I've got a video of a game that, uh, look at a video, a, a screenshot of a game that I saw that kind of had the idea, it, taught me, it took me back to Skeletrix when I was a kid, <laughs> shows you how old I am, um, playing around with Skeletrix, there's always a two player thing, there's always two people on the on the th on the um, track and you, you kind of like had your controller and you had to get your way around and there wasn't really scores or timers it was just really good fun chasing around with uh, with someone else so I'm gonna try and recreate it uh, the plan would be that it's gonna be um, a two player uh, either micro machines style or um, we could do split screen and as you can see that uh, the basic to do is um, I've actually got question marks and some of them I don't know how many will get through but each one um, I know there's going to be problems and it's just about working them out so hopefully you'll enjoy the series and uh, yeah let's get started. So the first thing you're going to have to do is to download this, this kit from Kenny. So if you go to Kenny, K-E-N-N-E-Y, -N -N -E um, I've just searched for the 3D assets and it's called the racing kit uh, and it's in 3D. So um, I've already done this but um, you just need to uh, download it. So if you click on the download and um, click download. Um, if you do love this stuff, it's absolutely amazing. It makes some incredible artwork. All low poly, all perfectly great for either mobile or um, high performance desktop. It doesn't really matter. Um, you feel free to donate to these as well. But if you click the download, um, you'll get the zip file will end up um, down for you and uh, you just need to extract all of that. So the um, Kenny stuff that you will download and extract. Um, it comes with uh, either a 2D version or a 3D so inside of models is all the different um, formats that you can use now by default. Uh, Unity is best to use FBX and um, you, what you need now is to open up your Unity project. So um, I've got one made already. Here's my um, Unity project. I'm currently using the long-term support version, so 2018.4, but this will work on the 2019s as well. Uh, so I wouldn't stress. Um, once you've done that, the easiest thing for the FBX format models is to just literally drag and drop them into your project. So I just um, selected all the FBX folder and drag and drop, and then it'll take a little while, um, but that's going to import them all. And when it's in, I'll um, restart the video and show you how to deal with them. Right, so now that they're in, um, I'm actually going to just change the name of that. So I'll just double click on the name of it. I'm going to call it Models because that makes, if I can spell, that makes that um, a lot more sense. Um, and I found that uh, I've done this before. And the best thing to do to check the scale of things and to make sure that it's all good um, is to just drag it straight onto the scene. So if you drag it up here to the hierarchy, um, you'll get it sort of randomly in, the, in your scene. So I'm just going to reset that position and you can see that um, because each of these grid lines is uh, one meter, so it's one, two, three, four meters by four meters and um, it's currently at the center but the pivot is brilliantly um, in one corner and it's the same for every single one of them. The reason why that's awesome is um, because when you're joining them together, so you've got this one and you want to uh, reset that position 
um, and you want to join up the, another one to it um, you can just uh, you can drag it out reset let me change the rotation to 180 you'll see that they they um, snap perfectly together so if you just drag it across it should fit perfectly with each other and uh, we're going to do a little bit more on that level design but it's uh, it's pretty awesome and we even um, introduce or use progrids which would be even better so um, yeah I'm pretty happy with the four meters by four meters Um everything should fit okay now I, I wanted to check um, I'll just drag a tree on you that's all good so th there's the cars as well you can see somewhere there they are um, one minor issue is that the car's huge. Um, yeah, so the, the the car scale isn't great, so we're going to have to kind of deal with that. So I think what we'll do first up is um, I'm just going to select um, everything so I can go through the import options for all of them at the same time. So I've held shift down so that every single thing is selected. So I clicked the first one, held shift and click the last one which gives me import options for the FPX. So um, scale factor uh, 1. Um, for all of them I'm just going to be lazy right now and just generate colliders for all of them. Um, if they're going to be static they should probably have UVs but we'll leave that for now in case that problem does actually come up. For rig there is none which is good. For animations it's still trying to import so we'll just make sure we're not exporting animations and for materials um, we're using the embedded material so um, that should be good that's going to click apply and that probably will whir away for a little while to um, try and import or change the import options for all of those so I'm going to look at the car now as well so the, the cars um, all four of those cars um, are all the same size so I'm going to select all of them and again with that just click the first one and then shift click the next one um, the options for those I think what we'll do is we want it to be yeah we want it to be really small um, so I reckon I'm gonna go 0 0.15 um, for that which is you know just over a, a tenth of the size click apply and have a little look so the the car should be where is the car race car red the car should be pretty tiny um, to be honest and because um, we're gonna have to fit a couple of them on that track and we don't want them flying off all the time if it was too big it'd be hard to even get around that corner so I think yeah we'll leave it at that um, maybe even a bit smaller so that one again shift click that one I'm gonna make it a tenth of the size 0 0.1 0 0.1 okay now um, 0 0.1 should be good, we'll click apply, it should be even smaller and uh, yeah that's pretty cool because uh, we're going to have to make space on that track anyway um, it does kind of make these other things look huge uh, we'll go with it so um, I might just quickly take out a couple of the other bits of track um, yeah that's okay. Um, there's another bit of road end. I really don't want it to be. I don't want the car to be too much, um, too big for the road. Otherwise, it's going to be really, really difficult to drive. So, yeah, I'm just gonna, just gonna kind of leave it with that. Um, yeah, those roads are pretty small, so I'll leave the car as a 0 0.1, and um, hopefully we won't have to change that. So I'm just, uh, just going to delete everything except for the car and the directional light and I'm going to place the car just in the middle of the world by resetting and then we're going to start looking at um, putting a ground underneath it um, game object, 3D object and cube and we're just going to reset that into the middle of the world and make sure the scale is about 50 by 50 and maybe um, take it down on the Y a couple of units so that it's uh, underneath the car. So um, yeah that's more or less it. We have uh, the assets imported from Kenny hopefully um, and we've managed to deal with all of the, the, the scale issues that we have come across already. I'm sure there'll be more problems as we go ahead but um, that's pretty good. Everything works including all the textures which is kind of cool. 
All right, um, that's it for this part. In the next part, we're going to go on to make this car uh, control.